Of all the members of our planetary system, Mars has always been the most legendary celestial body. In the course of several groundbreaking space missions, we finally succeeded in solving many of the great mysteries surrounding the fabled Red Planet. Renowned space agencies repeatedly achieved the challenging feat of placing unmanned probes on the dust-covered surface of Mars. Over the course of these successful projects, countless breathtaking images of the natural surface of the Red Planet were taken. These images not only help scientists better understand the surface characteristics of the celestial body, but also show us the galactic beauty inherent in the terrestrial planet. Together with you, we would now like to take a look at 10 fascinating Mars photos that leave us in pure amazement. We'll show you the amazing formations and structures on the red planet that have already been captured on camera. Want to see more exciting videos on the topic of outer space? Then subscribe to Simply Space and activate notifications to stay up to date. If you like the content of our posts, We'd be very happy if you'd give us a thumbs up. Let's get started. Smiley Craters The natural face of Mars is not only characterized by its lush iron oxide dust deposits, but also by the many craters that adorn the surface of the red planet. Most of the impact craters are located on the southern hemisphere of the celestial body, whereby the age of the planet could finally be determined to be about 4 billion years. In contrast to this are the geologically quite young areas of the northern hemisphere. In fact, the corresponding areas in the north show almost no traces of asteroid impacts. One of the most amazing and famous impact holes on Mars is the crater Gale. The structure has an impressive diameter of about 139 miles. The thing that immediately catches our eye when we look at Gale are the amazing formations inside it, which form a happy, grinning face. For this reason, Gale is appropriately nicknamed Happy Face. Mars geysers. Looking at the dark spots and spidery structures on some images of the Martian surface, the question arises what these mysterious objects are in reality. According to current scientific speculations, these bizarre formations are the scenes of a breathtaking galactic phenomenon. In fact, they are said to be geysers, but their properties are quite different from their terrestrial counterparts. It's likely that in the course of the eruptions, no water fountains are emitted, but rather gases and dust. This phenomenon is thought to have its roots in the seasonal thawing and unthawing phases of the carbon dioxide ice. The seasonal rise and fall of the carbon dioxide ice creates underground channels where the pressure is so high that the gases contained in the channels eventually make their way to the surface. Copernicus the Copernicus Crater makes abundantly clear which elementary forces are inherent in galactic phenomena. The mighty celestial body, which hit the surface of Mars about 3 billion years ago, left behind a gigantic crater with a diameter of about 180 miles. Particularly exciting are the channel structures located inside Copernicus. These structures indicate that some water streams may have once existed there. On the other hand, there is the theory that the corresponding indentations are due to the influence of dry granular currents. What is certain is that the exciting formations in Copernicus Crater are still changing regularly. Aelin Rua For a structure on Mars to captivate us, it doesn't necessarily have to be huge. The highly interesting Aelin Rua measures just 18 inches in width. The object, which was discovered and photographed by the Opportunity rover in 2010, is suspected to be an iron meteorite. The reddish turquoise shimmering boulder was named by researchers after an Irish island of the same name. Pseudocraters. Pseudocraters are the term researchers use for formations that at first glance resemble conventional volcanic craters, but in reality spew neither ash nor lava into their surroundings. In fact, the natural objects simply lack the necessary underground magma channels. Nevertheless, pseudocraters have a boiling hot origin. According to theory, 
These craters are formed as a result of steam explosions above lava flows. When the scorching hot lava makes its way over wet areas, such as ponds, lakes, or swamps, the water evaporates within a few moments due to the influence of the lava. The heated water vapors then break through the overlying lava layer, ultimately causing a powerful steam explosion. The structures that eat into the soil in the course of this process are also called rootless cones. On our Earth, pseudocraters are sometimes found in Iceland, France, and Hawaii. Some pictures taken during Mars missions brought the groundbreaking insight that the surface of the red planet is also adorned by several pseudocraters. Many of the objects were discovered in close proximity to each other. Bounce Rock to map the surface structure of the red planet in a comprehensible way, the outer surface of Mars was divided into 30 so-called degree fields. Especially the Margaritifer Sinus degree field winds up at the center of scientific interest again and again. Researchers have already discovered many clues in the corresponding areas that point to the former existence of liquid water deposits. The Mars rover Opportunity also landed in the breathtaking area on January 25, 2004. Over the course of its mission, which was to continue until 2018, the complex technical equipment also discovered a unique object, which was appropriately named Bounce Rock. This is a rock about the size of a soccer ball, composed mainly of pyrozine. From the detailed images, experts were quickly able to see that Bounce Rock bears astonishing similarities to a certain class of meteorites that have also been found on our home planet. The thesis that the Shergotites recovered on Earth also originate from Mars became more relevant than ever in the aftermath of the Bounce Rock discovery. Curiosity Rover's Rock Collection Since the world-famous Curiosity Rover landed on the surface of Mars on August 6, 2012, it has pursued several goals. In addition to the in-depth study of the Martian atmosphere and the investigation of radiation, these also include the exploration of Mars rocks. Today, the rover, equipped with 10 state-of-the-art measuring instruments, is still regularly on the lookout for unique rock objects on the red planet. In order to obtain corresponding samples from the soil, Curiosity repeatedly drills holes in the ground. The images of the now 26 boreholes give us an authentic impression of how industrious the largely autonomous rover is during its mission. Curiosity was equipped by its creators with a special robotic arm about six feet long. The mechanical limb has three joints, allowing the rover to enjoy pronounced mobility. At the end of the arm, there is an excavator shovel, a drill, a brush, a sieve, and some collecting containers in which the extracted rock samples are deposited. So far, the Curiosity rover has traveled 14.4 miles during its mission. Until Perseverance landed on the surface of the Red Planet in February 2021, Curiosity was the heaviest man-made object ever set down on Mars, weighing nearly a ton. Jezero Crater Although it's only been in operation for a few months, Perseverance has already produced some amazing images of the Martian surface. The rover landed in the so-called Jezero Crater, which is located on the northern hemisphere of the celestial body, on February 18th, 2021. This impact site resulted from a collision with a meteorite and has a diameter of almost 30 miles. What makes the Jezero Crater so unique is the idea that a gigantic lake could have been located here. The catchment area of the lake, or in other words, the area of the lake's outflow, is said to have covered an area of 9,000 square miles. And the lake itself is said to have covered an area of 193 square miles. The numerous tributaries eventually ensured that the Jezero Crater Lake was fed with countless suspended solids. These mineral solids continued to deposit over the millennia and are still clearly visible today. In detail, the fed solids formed broad plains, which are called deltas in the technical world. And it was precisely those deposited sediments that Perseverance captured with its high-resolution camera. Images of this kind help experts to better understand the natural composition of the planet's surface and how it formed. Heart-Shaped Table Mountain The Mars Global Surveyor proved to mankind in 1999 that the natural surface shape of the red planet is at least in part lovable. 
The space probe, which investigated Mars until 2006, succeeded in photographing a heart-shaped table mountain. What at first glance seems to be a romantic whim of nature was in fact of great scientific interest to earthly experts. The existence of the formation suggests that the surrounding dark terrain must once have been covered by the same light layer of material in which the heart-shaped mesa presents itself. Unlike other mountain formations, table mountains, also called mesas, are characterized by their flat summit plateaus. Mars Avalanches When the sun shines on the icy layers of the Martian North Pole in spring, again and again the heated ice blocks become unstable and finally fall crashing to the ground. These amazing Martian avalanches, in which the destabilized ice masses collide with the ground from a height of up to over 1,600 feet, in turn raise gigantic clouds of dust. The Reconnaissance Orbiter succeeded in capturing this captivating natural spectacle on May 29, 2019. Is there a shot that particularly captivated you? What do you think about the unique images of the Martian surface? Give us your feedback about our video in the comments. You can also have a look at the exciting videos we've linked here for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.